Hi everyone, Tom Schmerhorn here. I'm the Youth Programs Manager at the Humane Society. While everybody's cooped up inside, we thought we'd share some of our favorite stories for the kiddos at home. And today I've got one of my favorites here. This one is called Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. One of my all-time favorites. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. Can I be your dog? Dear people at the Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I'm body trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who is a good dog? I am sincerely Arfy. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Oh, interesting letter. Let's see. Let's see what they wrote. They wrote back. Let's see. It says, Dear Arfie, we are so sorry, but we cannot be, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Man, that's so sad. Let's see. Oh, it looks like, it looks like Arfie wrote another letter. Let's see what he says. It says, Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Oh, I think the butcher shop might be a good place. Lots of things to eat for Arfie. Mm, all those meat and yummy things. Let's see. Oh, they wrote back. They wrote back. Let's see. It says, <gasps> Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking a pooch. Victoria Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets, and good luck finding a home. Looks like he's sad eating. He's like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's, oh, he wrote another letter. Let's see this time says, Dear Fire Station Number 5, can I be your dog? I can bet your boots, plus let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest. Harvey. Oh. The Butternut Fire Department. Oh, ooh, they wrote back. Let's see what they said. Oh, it says, Dear Applicant, Thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of Fire Dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Oh, look at that. He's peeing on the letter. <gasps> Arfie probably doesn't like that response. Poor Arfie. I hope he finds a home. Let's see. <gasps> oh, he wrote another letter. Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not gonna lie, you're my second to last choice, but these past few days have been rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much. I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, or me. Oh, the butternut dog. That guy looks a little grouchy to me. Hopefully you can see him in there. I wonder what he's gonna say. Oh, I see. It says, Dear Mutt, get lost. That's pretty mean. Poor Arfie, look at that. He's digging and he's trying to bury that mean note. Oh, he looks like he wrote another letter. Let's see. It says, Dear Last House on Bona Street, can I be your dog? I see your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky. Just slowly. Arfie. Oh, that looks like a scary house to me. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to live there. That looks pretty scary. Let's see. Uh oh, it says return to sender. Nobody at this address. Last house on Butternut Street. And Arfie says, Oh, <laughs> that's one sad book. Oh, poor Arfie. Let's see, hopefully he can find a home. Looks like he's going back into the alley and he's got his little box that he's sleeping in and it's raining outside. Oh, but wait, what, what is this? 
the next morning, it looks like there's a letter on his box that says, To Arfi. It says, Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner with hugs and head scratches. Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. Home. Oh, let's see who could have written that. If they're if they're meeting by that mailbox, there's Mitzi. Let's see. What do you think? Is is Arfi gonna show up? It looks like he does, and he's got a letter that he's bringing up to Mitzi. Let's see here what it says. It says, Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Orphy. Yes. And look, he's getting scratch, scratch. He's getting some nice scratches from his new partner, Mitzi, there. They're going to have fun delivering all those letters to everyone on Butternut Street. All right. So that's our story for today. Please check back for more stories. We hope everybody out there is being safe and staying healthy. Um, but until then, um, this has been our story time. See you next time.